Thank you to my Patreon patrons and YouTube members. Your support keeps the lights on. If you want to access extra perks like early video access, special emotes and badges, a lounge area in the Discord server, or the ability to choose the next project setting, check the links in the description below. Now, let's get on with the video. What's going on, my kitsunes? It's your favorite great tail, Fox Foxy, coming back at you with a brand new episode of The Sims 4 Texie Island. Or, sorry, The Sims 3 Texie Island, correcting that right there. And in today's brand new episode, this is Sims 3, I promise. Okay, it's not Sims 4, I kind of screwed up. But in today's brand new episode, we're going to be adding on some new city services. But the first thing that I do try to do is make a little bendy road, and I'm like, wait, where's the side street that I made in the previous episode? Yeah, had to remake that because I guess, you know, we decided we didn't want me um, working with that. But anyways, right about now we got this um, sidewalk and everything right about now, everything coming together. And yes, I do spend like the first um, minute or so of the video on this as well. Because apparently I screwed up the first time. I don't want an opacity map on this. That actually sounds like a terrible idea. Every time I do the opacity map, what tends to happen is basically the whole thing completely breaks down. So... Yeah, naturally not too keen on that, not too keen on really anything else when it comes to opacity maps, so yeah, of course there were some other mistakes I had, like, you know, crosswalks and whatnot. I did eventually decide to do a crosswalk, but obviously switching over to the side street, because I do like the idea of having, like, a blank asphalt street to kind of, like, you know, resort to outside the downtown would be pretty nice, and actually, while we're on the subject of the downtown, I'm about to dedicate one of the lots to a fire station. I do have a bunch of 20 by 15, so it's possible I could put that near the school, although we still need a hospital too for the island, and a few smaller shops, so the number of lots on the map may actually wind up going down, I'm not really sure in the next episode. There's a whole bunch of things I'm not really sure about, because, well, as you can clearly see, I've got Super Creator World installed by Was This Game... Well, it wasn't made by Was This Game Rigged from the start, but they're the ones that actually kind of linked me to it. And as soon as I saw Super Creator World, I knew I had to give it a whirl. I've still yet to test because a lot of people were asking me about things like pathfinding in this episode and whatnot. Still have not tested that, but Super Creator World is probably one of the better tools that I've actually worked with. Of course, we still need lots for the world to actually be playable, and you better believe I'm going to have playable lots because that actually is kind of a gold mine. But yeah, I do want the world to be relatively playable and stuff like that, but Super Creator World is still a pretty cool thing. But anyways, we're currently making some dirt for the planters and whatnot. And of course, you know, it, well actually I'm kind of surprised I didn't call the plants planties this episode. Well, I did right there. Gotta worm in the Femi remarks somewhere now, don't I? But anyways, right now we currently have a few other things going on at the moment. Got like, you know few other things going on as i said we got these um little paintings i'm thinking about adding different ones actually i do know once we get back to the downtown i'm adding in that diner from what was it again sims 3 late night i believe it was yeah i think it was sims 3 late night or there was like a mini diner that i'm thinking of that i want to add I, I think i'm gonna get rid of the 30 by 30 lot that we placed in the previous episode in order to do that and then probably repurpose one of the other lots as like a fire station i do know we're going to be building a hospital at some point too so yeah that is going to happen Maybe a hospital island, actually, now that I think about it, because a current, oh my god, a hospital island would actually be a really cool idea. Make it like a historical hospital where it was a quarantine hospital originally, but eventually just became a general care facility. That would actually be really cool. But anyways, right now we got a few other things too. Got some bushes and everything like that. I think overall the hedges came together pretty nicely. Everything does look spicy at the moment. But yeah, I'd say this actually does look pretty good. Everything does look nice. And yes, we do get some palm trees this episode as well. I do want this island to be fairly tropical, but right now my focus is kind of like the hedges. But yeah, I'd say that looks pretty good. And then on top of that too, we got even more landscaping. It did take me a minute to kind of figure out where the um, daisies of our lives flowers were in this, because I knew it existed. The only things that don't exist in Super Call are any mod items that I download alongside any store content, which I'm just gonna be that guy to say it. That one's actually kind of annoying because there actually is some really good um, content in the stores, particularly the stadium from Aurora Skies, I believe I'm thinking of right about now. And I do have my store content kind of on backup, so maybe we could use that in the future. I've yet to install it though. That's kind of the thing. At least I think I've yet to install it. I could double check like quite literally right here. So if I go under my documents, go under Sims 3, I think it is. Oh no, I do actually have my mods. I do have all my packages and everything like that. Okay, that's awesome actually, because um, I thought I didn't have it installed. So when we do actually go to um, create a world, I do actually have a few things installed there. And let's be real, we like, a lot of people got it that way. 
and obviously there's a whole bunch of other stuff as well too that I do need to look into, like the booty, mod the Sims, the Sims resource, etc. Actually, the Sims resource almost would be the perfect um, test for something else entirely, but I don't think I'm allowed to say that on camera, especially since we seem to be prowling around the um, studio right now. And actually, speaking of um, that subject, I don't want to say directly who's doing it because technically I'm not supposed to. But I will say this right here now, though, a lot of the behavior I'm dealing with, unfortunately, is very much getting worse. So, yeah, I got to deal with that. That's going to be a lot of fun for certain. But anyways, we're kind of like adding these little planters over here. And I do actually add these, I believe, in the rest of the map as well. I was a little bit undecided, a little bit hesitant at first, but I'm like, eh, you know what, we'll do it. Although this area could end up changing in the future to a more commercial focused district. I do know we're probably gonna be putting the hospital nearby alongside the fire station as well. Actually, I think I have to build the fire station in game, which is definitely something. I don't know how to do that, but I am definitely ready to learn because I do want this world to actually be functional. Like a, a small town with a bunch of like, you know, small town amenities. There's really no high school on the map. You have to go to the mainland for the high school. Same with the university, obviously. Or we could just make the, the... The town's actually probably small enough. We could probably have, like, just a K-12, like, completely. Like, all the grades of one school. That would actually be rather interesting. But again, if you wanted to do extracurriculars or sports or anything like that to, you know, beef up that college resume a little bit, you would have to, um... You would have to, again, go to a school on the mainland. So, that type of system probably wouldn't really make much sense. Maybe that could be a great school. I don't know. And then again, you could have the um, high school on the mainland along with the middle school because here in the U.S. we have like a we have a level in between grade and high school. But anyways, right now, speaking of schools, we're getting the police station done. And again, I'm from the United States, so you probably know damn well what I'm thinking of when I think of like you know putting the police station next to the school. Let's be real for a couple seconds. You knew what I was thinking of right when you saw where I put the police station down. Seen it on the news too much, so yeah, definitely gonna work hard to make sure that, you know, we're a little bit prepared for it, as much as I don't want to be, it seems like no one actually wants to do anything about the problem, so this is kind of like my fix until someone actually does do something. But anyways, right now we're currently adding in some other small lots too, I think I have a, 12, a couple 12 by 18s that I put down over here, and I do think that this looks absolutely cool because we got this sidewalk that we're putting down, and I'm actually putting down the um, side street sidewalk near the brick street because, again, we're kind of, like, ending the area of the brick streets for the most part fairly soon. And also, I think I'm kind of trying to figure out, I think I've already got a rough idea of where the hospital's going to go, kind of, like, figured out. So that actually is pretty good news heading into the next episode. But anyways, we are starting to get to the end of this episode. I just realized that on our timeline for Adobe. But anyways, if you did go on to enjoy, you know what to do. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now. And have a great day or night. No matter where in the world you may be, dumb it off to Cinematics now.